it's the time to get down. Grind, got to give props to her. Can't wait. Thank you so much, Adrian. Adrian Anderson. Bam. Halo 2 Beauty. Coming. All right, it's supposed to be. I just hit that record switch. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, cool. here's the thing. It's called redundancy. We have so many redundancy things that we actually forget they go into other folders. You actually can affect what we do in here. Say if I made a folder last week from the show with Miko. Didn't realize that, that you, when you record, it's very simple. Because the way Mario has it all set up, that it just goes and hides in a folder somewhere. <laughs> so he comes back. But see, I don't tell him I made a new folder. You know why? Because when you're in Windows, you make folders like they're But at least day. you do it logically. <laughs> I can always figure out big stuff. Like he put that in a folder and labels it. And he doesn't put the video stuff like under pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he doesn't do like the obviously stupid things like some people do. I have it in a folder called Folder. <laughs> oh, and I also have 15 folders called Folder. <laughs> right. That's, oh. That's cool, man. Yeah, well, Head Start is doing a wonderful job. <laughs> but, but I love it. What, you know what we, what we love about it, being in here? Everything is so in a click fashion. Even if it's for a better intention, if you don't let the person know that, oh, guess what? I, this has changed. It could be lost because you're just not thinking of the progressions of it. That's the part I like about this. So you're really leery in here to go, oh, I'm going to change this. <laughs> it doesn't well, work. because that's part of what the whole thing, like, Vic, like what, why Vic, everything is logical and it's always the same place, like my mixing board. It right. doesn't change. Plus, stuff's not plugged in all over here. No, and all. No. You move the bar up to the unity. You're right, and that's it. That's what you do. You leave it alone. You it's there it. for it's, a reason. It's, yeah, that's why we got it set. You can just bring the bar up to it, and it's already preset. So we say. So why does it keep messing up all the time, Mario? Yeah. Because shit don't work, right? <laughs> all right, you guys. Yeah, I tell you, well, you know, if you don't know, it's Tuesday. Because <laughs> if you don't know, you late for work. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. If you don't know. You got, now I got to resize this back here. Let me get this back. All right, get my visual aids. That's all right. Tuesday, July 9th. Now, every week we have a weekly quotation, and this week our quotation is by none other than George Bernard Shaw. And I quote, A life spent making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. Good. All about risk-taking, right? right? I'll say it again. A life spent making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. You know, and so that's, yeah, that's part of the, you know, the thing that makes things so fun about what we're doing. We are risk takers, okay? We are risk takers, you guys. So, Vic. Yeah. Just so you know, as part of the show today, uh, we're going to be talking in the good news, bad news. We're going to talk a little bit about Lauren Hill. Oh, supposed yeah. to be going to jail today. Yeah. Talk about this plane crash, the big plane crash that occurred up north. Uh, that Asia, uh, Asiana Airlines. That was terrible. But that that train wreck in Quebec. Oh yeah, I actually, wow. I, they did have some. Wow. I did. They did have some video on that on RT. Maybe we could take a look at that. If you remind me, we could try to take a look at that. And also the Egypt uprising and the issue of force feeding in Guantanamo. Issue issue of force feeding in Guantanamo. So maybe if we get, we'll could briefly hit all those things here again on the morning coffee. Yeah. I'm trying to use some of my effects. And I got all these effects that I'm trying to use now. Yeah, everybody. All right. Now, before we get into the good news, bad news. <laughs> I know. I got to talk. We got to talk a little bit about this excursion. The excursion to Seattle. Yes, Vic. <laughs> Let's take a look at this video here. Take a look. You may recognize this man here. <laughs> this ain't no but a pimp. You may, you may recognize him. <laughs> There's a pimp right there. There he is. Let's see what he has to say. Everybody, believe it or not, there he is in the flesh. GNM Bureau Chief <laughs> Mac McAllister. I didn't know he was in the here game. Here we are, hooking up in Seattle. We'll oh, let y'all yeah. know how it goes. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> we got on the duck tour. Okay, what the hell is he doing? That's the driver. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> this thing dries on the land and it dries into the water. That was one of them right there. They want you to act a fool. I kept leaning out the window going, help! Help me! Help me, please! Help me. That's out on the water. Look at the Seattle. Look at the Seattle. Uh, Alright. That was nice. That was nice. I look like I Venice. have a whole presentation, but the it keeps the computers having trouble with it. It looked like Venice Beach. You sure you went up north? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah, I didn't know you, but but I think he just went out there in the marina. No, hey Mac, the <laughs> JPEG the is coming too. The JPEG is coming. Okay, because I got it scanned. You know, I was, man, everything was giving me a give me problems. Oh, up up north? No, 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 down here. First of all, you guys. Seattle was great. Yeah. Beautiful, but everybody said that's the best time to come to Seattle, that they have a very narrow window where they have weather like this. Right. They say summer does not come. It's not. It's still hitting like 50 degrees in like May and June. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like they say you wait for summer to finally hit, and it like really takes like to July. Wow. And then by like the end of August, it's getting ready to leave again. Wow, that quick, huh? Yeah, so they talk about it. it was the best time, but the weather was wonderful. Now, here's the thing where I messed up. I went on a wine tasting tour because I, I really I really been drinking white wines. And then less wine lately because I love beer. And when I travel, I mostly get the local beers. Right. And even here, I'm, Vic will tell you, I like the micro brews. Yeah. I'll try different beers because it's a big thing happening. Yeah. And it's less, you know, it's less alcohol. Right. So I can keep keep working and stuff. Yeah. So, um, but I went on a wine tasting tour, which was already a trip, hmm. because you know you're drinking all this wine, and I was like, we all bonded and everything, right. you know, on the wine tasting tour. But the whole thing is you're drinking like eight pours at each stop. They pour you little bits of wine, but eight of those, so you that's, you're only supposed to taste it and then like dump it out. And I was saying at first, it sure is so hard to dump this out because. The first stop or so, you just like we're drinking everything. Ah, right. I asked, right. I asked this one of the girls. She said, "No, I'm I'm just drinking it." <laughs> well, I got you. I feel you. Hold on, let me text this. You guys. Oh, that's okay. You know the, the okay. I'll say this. You know, we all waiting for the real exciting stuff. You know, yeah. Want to hear about the wonderful opposite sex? Because we heard that Mac and Mario hit the nightlife. And they went out there like bandits that somebody stole their money. I didn't hit nightlife. <laughs> and I thought nightlife was, that was just her hoe name. Nightlife. I told her my name was Brother to the Night. Okay. And she said, my name is Nightlife. <laughs> well, we didn't hit anything. <laughs> oh, that's not right. I'm too old. Uh, wait a minute. I'm going on, I'm going on reputation. Yeah, you know what? You don't travel north by northwest. I'm going on reputation. Right. I got plenty of sleep. Y'all right. would have been proud of me. I was up work. You guys, I got up in the morning. Got dressed, had my little coffee and stuff, got up, got my back little backpack right. and hit the streets. I hit the public transportation. I got on the bus, went all through downtown, then got the monorail, went all around. Okay. Uh Seattle. It was great, you guys. I had the right I had the right kind of an attitude. I had a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. Right. So it was cool. All right, we'll it was you, really cool. Okay, what about the women? Man, let me tell you something. Washington women are closer to L.A. women than I thought hmm. in terms of healthiness. Right. Okay. It is the West Coast. They're better. Yeah, they are more naturally tanned and out there. Right. Uh, no, okay, I got to speak a little racial. See, because you're looking at different nationalities. A lot of, lot of different nationalities up there, so you got a potpourri of women. Okay. The white women were thicker than I'm used to. Okay. So they were healthy, you know, like... Legs and butt and right. all that, right? And so the sisters were fine too. So I'm like marveling at everybody looking kind of, you know, right? You know, they're kind of good looking up there, like California. You guys, no offense if you're on the East Coast, come out to California sometime right. while y'all are on that cold. Right? Everybody has a different kind of a look. True. I used to notice that when I came up from school because you're in sunshine, right? See, and, you, and with the East Coast and that snow shit, you know, y'all are 
It's killing you. It's killing you. I know. I understand. Like Pittsburgh, you know, PMC goes through those periods of winter where it's like, boom. Yeah, I know. They have real winter, winter back there. Yeah. So I'm just saying, so when you go up to Washington, everybody has a different physicality. Right. Because there's more bikes. Yeah. Everybody's walking mm-hmm. around. Yeah. So they have, all have this healthier look to them. So no, as a guy watching the women, it was wonderful. Cool. It cool. was wonderful. They were looking. They were looking good, and there were a lot of different nationalities. Did uh, either you or Mac introduce yourselves to any of those good-looking women? No, but them um, introduced themselves to me. <laughs> you know, but you don't do it. I'm, oh, I, you know, I went out to eat. See, I went out to eat. I was flat. I'm always flattered when young girls start talking to me. I'm always flattered. <laughs> You, you know, I'm, Bro, you know, I'm not saying anything. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying. It. So I, I, I was out eating, you know, because I was, you know, pacing myself. So I was out a lot. Well, I'm glad. And so yeah, they, they people were friendly. Yeah, I'm glad. It's like going to Brazil and you come back with a bunch of pictures of statues. I got you. That's cold. <laughs> I'm not trying to do. What are you supposed? To, hey, how old are we supposed to be trying to travel to get laid? Hey, wait a minute. My no, age? no, just to me. If just, I'm going, to, if to I'm me. getting laid when I travel, I must be bringing it with me. You just, you're just supposed to say because I'm not doing that. I'm, too, I'm not gonna be out you know, chasing women in foreign countries you, and all that. You're shit. supposed to. Here's a Seattle night. Oh man, <laughs> it's supposed to be a Seattle night. You know, we, we're supposed to be able to go. I mean. Think about you just have it go like this. Can I take a picture of you because I'm going back to California and I want to show them how beautiful, you know, a Seattle night woman is, specifically Port Townsend. She'll turn around and smile and say, yes. What'd you guys bring back? Let's see, a guy dancing on the bus. You're lucky you didn't get in an accident. <laughs> that is kind of, so you say saying I got to go get, okay. All right. Here's the thing, too. I am scheduled to take a trip to Amsterdam. Oh, now you better take bring some pictures. And back. you, but and you, you when something. you go into the red light district, yeah, which I, of course, purely for journalistic uh, reasons. I, I got you. Purely for journalistic reasons, but you can't videotape that. They don't let you come in there with videotapes. No, no, no. But you can show a picture is worth a thousand words. I'm just saying, but you know what? I would never use my video camera. That's a pen. <laughs> right. You know, I have a video camera that's, that's a pin. pin. Yep. You stick it in your pocket. That's right. And it is a video camera. Yes, right. You know, I'm a tech freak. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I got them. Whatever they are. It works that out way. There. It works that and way. And it'll shoot. So maybe I'll do something like that. Yeah. Do something. I'll get the one. Because even the ca- even though the Google Glasses, the people are hip to that. You know, you got the new Google Glasses that have video mm-hmm. built into the glasses. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's right, PMC. People go hey, there. Hey, PMC, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, right, right. See, you know I, what I'm saying? I, but after that, yeah, I will be going. Okay, now, all right, well, okay, all right, you guys. Now, we get ready to move on to, to the other stuff. But, Vic, because uh, we got, a, like I said, we got a little new, good news, bad news. What's the time? 13? Okay, no, it's longer than that. Yep. We just got reported. Well, you know, that computer's acting up over there, so yeah. I hope it's capturing. We don't even know. Yeah. Uh, Vic, yeah, you went out, you guys. Vic went out on the date was June what thirtieth? Yeah, you uh, went out. Yeah. When did you go out and cover at the Baldwin Hill Crenshaw Plaza? Right. You had R and B icons, Sherelle. Yep. Alexander O'Neill and a, Keith Washington. A little quick step in on stage, yes, sir. He and you me. shot this video. So now the videos again as I got back. We had all this backed up work. So besides the Brandy show that went up, the Miko with Stephanie Ray show that went up, also the full gamut of the Sherelle, right? Alexander O'Neill and Keith Washington videos went up to YouTube. Right. right. So now I figure we would show show them one of those. And Vic, since Vic shot this stuff again, he goes out unarmed <laughs> into the community. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, the LZ local zone, right? Directed, produced. Victor Allen goes. All I do is package it when he brings it in. Yep. Do a little audio, Justin. That little stuff. But Vic goes out and captures this. And so, Vic, what are we going to be showing them? 
this morning. You have a you have a couple of choices. Depending on how many clips you show, if you're only going to show one period today, it could be one, but it could also could be one of the. It's up to us because after this, I'm going to do the right. the good news, bad news. We got the hot, you know. If I had to sit there, if I had to go and pick, because if you want to see a little bit of both of them, okay, then you would play the fir- the clip that is, it, you know when he does all true man. Uh huh. When he comes out. That's when Sherelle's on the stage, and then they tra- transition right on stage, and it's one clip. Okay. I so that. that way you get to see a little bit of both of them, you know. Um, and then you can always come back another time and hit the Keith Washington piece. We'll do that tomorrow, then. Yeah. We'll do Keith Washington tomorrow. Yeah, it's a small piece. And right now we're going to show you the piece with Sherelle Holm going into Alexander O'Neill. There you go. The all- I haven't seen it. I have. I have not seen it. All right, remember now. brother all my life but I can't say you ain't been I ain't you ain't fine as shit I want you to sit right here for me cuz I could never tell oh shit Woo, okay oh shit here we go she said oh shit for real something else Pick if you got a, you know, I don't want to mess up the box. Yeah, yeah. It's been always a fantasy. You can be a teacher. Just someone who understands my needs. A man who is
Take my Alpha. breakfast. I got some for y'all. I know you do, baby. You giving me <laughs> I'm looking right at it. Same thing, but I, that's what I expected. Sherelle, thank you, baby. Looking healthy. Well, I don't know now. I have no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. The, the, the music yeah. arrangement back then was tight. Just the composition of the music was tight. Man. Hey, didn't we? Uh, oh, there was another show we had our. We had done. On the, on the, that's right. Alexander. Victor Allen. 
LZ. That's right, I uploaded nine videos to YouTube. Go up there and take a look. Alex, you come on our show and have some fun with us. Right there, I don't know. <laughs> Mac and they will be all over his ass. <laughs> <I'm talking shit. laughs> we'll say hi to the chat room, PMC, Mac McAllister. My computer. Yeah. man, all true man. Go on, Alex. Yeah. How y'all doing tonight? All right. I told you goes out there unarmed. To the streets. <laughs> Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Hey, look. Oh. Well, hey, look. You know, we all know this. It's, it's, it's very few cats, male or female, who can still bring it 30 years later. Very difficult to do that. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't bringing it. I mean, it. you look. I, I'm just <laughs> Mac saying. might be bringing something. I ain't bringing shit. Well, th hey, thanks, BMC. It's easy to point Need a camera. Sleep. It's easy to point a camera <laughs> and just shoot. That's not the work for him to get up there on that stage and do what he do. Because you know what? Everybody knows this, and it's so true. Performance is not about you losing your voice. You know what performance is about? Working your conditioning. Well, Working you know out, what? Physically conditioning Nick, you're yourself. totally right. That's all it's And about. that's why I say, Alex, I understand. Because it was hard for me, too. Like I said, I lost 40 pounds. See? But it was a difficult thing. Yeah. And I can relate to that whole struggle. Yeah. You, they tell you this. The first thing that I think hits yeah, artists, hard. you know, people like Beyonce and others like Fat and those before them, they will probably have long time, you know, long term voices, maybe not with the energy on stage, but because they were working out. And you have to work out. You, you make better love when you're in shape. You can't get out there. Sing better. You, you pose the question. He says, imagine MC Hammer trying to do what he did 25, 30 years Ooh, after. Lord. Even James Brown. I saw James Brown in the later years. Right. He was not about to do no splits. <laughs> and I never could. That's why I it, might split, but you have to do something to get me back. Take that, me right to the hospital. Right. That's why the crooners, the, the ones who sing those songs where they barely move and it's all voice, last a long time. Russell Tompkins. Yeah, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen.